did you know that every one of you seated here has contributed towards the protection of the word of Allah every one of you has contributed towards the protection of the word of Allah you might want to know how do you know how let me explain who knows Surah Al-Fatiha put up your hand can we read it together repeat after me or with me with me Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Na'budu Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladheena An'amta Alayhim Ghayri Al-Maghdubi Alayhim Waladdallin Ameen who from amongst you does not know the Arabic language? Put up your hands high. Hi. That's the majority of you, mashallah. But what did you do? You read an entire surah of the Quran in Arabic. And I'm sure you know the meanings of those words, even though you don't speak Arabic. You don't really understand deeper Arabic. But some of these surahs, did you not make an effort to learn them the way they were revealed? If the answer is yes, congratulations, Allah used you to contribute towards the preservation of the Quran. People say, why do I have to read the Quran in Arabic in Salah? When I stand up in prayer and I say Allahu Akbar, and I have to read verses of the Quran in Arabic, I get asked a question, can I not read in English? And the answer is not in Salah. In the prayer, you have to read the Arabic. And then the question comes, but why? The answer is, we are taught to adjust ourselves in order to understand the word of Allah, not to adjust the word of Allah for us to understand it. You need to contribute towards the preservation of the book. And when you do that, you will be protected by Allah.